Here we are again, sports fans. Uh, we're going to do the camshaft now. This is a comp cam. And uh, this is high performance street. And uh, I don't know if you can see it here. Our specs intake exhaust. Advertised duration 282 on the intake, 292 on the exhaust. This duration of 50 thousandths. That's 50 thousandths of uh, valve lift. I could be wrong. Could be valve lift or cam load lift. I think it's cam load lift. I'm not positive. Anyway, lobe separation is 112 degrees. That's uh, and total lift is 579. So anything over half inch is pretty high performance. Anyway, we took the liberty of taking it out of the bag, and you can see it's a, it's a, uh, my son tells me it's a billet, which means this was a solid piece of, of, uh, I don't know what alloy of steel, but it's good steel. And then they put this on a cam grinder, and they machine it, and you end up with this. They cut the distributor gear in it, and uh, this is it. It's a nice piece. Very nice. Anyway, I happen to have a long 3 8 bolt in my pocket. We put that in the end here, thread it in, and then we take the cam, put it on end over here, and we're going to coat it with white lithium. Mix this up good. And we'll put it over here, and we coat the journals, and I coat one half and then turn it around. Is it like frosting a cake? Yeah, similar, yeah. And uh, you see the idea. The, I, the main idea is not to, uh, to have any bare metal contacting anything because when the motor first starts you have to get the oil and camshafts are only under pressure for the main lobes the um, the, uh, the main the main cam bearing not the lobe the lobe is lubricated by throw off from the connecting rods which we ran over that's why you have to have uh, you have to have side clearance on your rods in order to have throw off which lubricates not only the cam journals but the pistons and the wrist pins and the rings so that's why you need that anyway um, this is the basic operation. <clears throat> Once you get this done, you lube up the, uh, the lifters. And we, we're going to be using roller lifters. Retrofit. Yeah. And this is a uh, mid 70s 351 Windsor block out of a Ford truck that I, ha I happen to uh, have wrecked. And, matter of fact, my son was with me. He was like, it's a good time. 12 or 13, and uh, we got into a, an accident with the trailer, lost its mind, and broke, and that caused us to spin out, hit the guardrail. In any case, I stripped the van out, and here's the motor all these years later. Now, we take the cam as such, and you start to feed it in the first bore. Now you have to rest it then pick it up and gently feed it in. And You can see these lifters you see they barely clear and you have to wiggle it around till you get the next one. Same thing you want to be careful that you don't drag the lobe across the bearing because then you score it. You don't want that. And you wiggle it around, you take your time, pick it up, and then get it in. Same thing here. And then the last one is going to be the hardest. But you get it in here like so, 
wiggle it around and then you have to use a little leverage on it and you feel around in the back there until you get it in like so and there's cam installation then you undo your rod and you put the pin in there <clears throat> and then put the sprockets on and the crank sprocket goes down here you get all that fitted we we have a multi-index cam sprocket we'll go through that later as to how you find top dead center and you get your degree wheel and put it on there and they have specific instructions as to advance and retarding a camshaft as to where you want the torque curve. You want good mid-range and you really want a good belt in the ass, you want mid-range. See, For a street motor, that's what you want. Torque is going to win the race. See, that to be. We want to win. That's right. All well, right, that's so pretty much it for a camshaft for now. And we'll do the, the uh, we'll be back with the uh, timing the chain, the timing chain, and and the rest of it later. So that's uh, that's the sign off for now, sports fans. All right, thank you. Yep, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this spins over. Get a pin. <laughs>